welcome back, folks, for our midweek edition. And hey, guys, glad you stopped by. Oh, by the way, if you're, if you're new here, uh, do me a quick little favor. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure it goes from red to gray. Then go right next door and hit that bell. Make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button. And before you head out, drop a comment down below. And if you're one of the regulars here, welcome back for another round. I ask that you also hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment as well. And of course, share the video out on all the socials. Okay, so as the thumbnail says, and I gave a quick little non-spoiler thing on Saturday, we're going to do the full, we're going to do my full take on the new DC film, Black Adam. I'm going to give you a brief synopsis, things I like, things I didn't like, and some theories that I may have. So, with that being said, spoilers ahead, you've been warned, let's get into it. So our story starts in the ancient city of uh, Kandak, which would be Egypt, a ancient city in Egypt where a slave is given the powers of the immortals by the council of the wizards to free his pe pe people and is given the name Teth Adam. Um, Adams has a yearning for revenge and co which causes the, the, the wizards to bind his powers and to imprison him. 5,000 years later in modern day Egypt, a, the international crime syndicate known as Intergang has the city under military occupation. They are searching for some ancient relics. Now, former archaeology professor Adriana Tomaz, remember that name because we're going to talk about that later, and her team are looking for these same relics. They come under fire and they release Teth Adam, believing that he is the champion of conduct to free themselves. Well, this cues the Justice Society of America, not the Justice League, the Justice Society. This is a pre-Justice League, uh, which the members for this assignment are Carter Hall, which is Hawkman, uh, Kent Nelson, Dr. Fate, uh, Al Albert Rothstein, the A Adam Smasher, and Maxine Henkel, Cyclone. And they are working with Amanda Waller? We'll talk about that too. Okay, and then what ensues after this is a battle of not just physical strength, but te but technological strength, and mystical, a uh, battle of mystical proportions, and two conflicting philosophies on justice. Oh, and there's a mid credit scene. That's just super. Good to have you back, hey, Henry. Okay, that's the movie in a quick little nutshell. Stuff I liked. Dwayne Johnson, pleasantly surprised um, with him as, as a lead actor in this. Um, in my opinion, uh, The Rock has always been better as a piece of an ensemble cast. So the performance he gave for this film, I was pleasantly surprised. Well done. Pierce Brosnan. When I heard that he was cast as Doc, Dr. Fate, I said this was the perfect casting. Did not disappoint. Um, just Pierce Brosnan's presence and his voice and the way he depicted Dr. Fate gave a calm amidst the chaos that the Justice Society found themselves in. Things I did not like. The Justice Society in general um, kind of looked silly in comparison to Black Adam, especially Adam Smasher. He was, he, I felt like he was just kind of put there for levity and humor. It just kind of fell flat and he just seemed out of place. Um, the Justice Society working with Amanda Waller? That's an odd choice. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to reconcile this going forward in the D DC universe because not until her later years in life was she ever an ally or worked with the Justice Society or the Justice League. She was primarily a antagonist. So this will be an 
interesting thing going forward. Some predictions that, that I have. Will we see Black Adam again? Yes, absolutely. Uh, because not only is he integral to the story of Shazam, but Adriana Tomas, remember I told you a little earlier to remember that, that name. That is a DC character. She was originally Andrea Thomas um, and reappeared, at, I believe, in 06. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the co comments as Adriana Tomas. She is the um, DC heroine, lover, and eventual wife of Black Adam, that being the almighty Isis. Um, I did say that I thought this film could potentially do better at the box office than the upcoming Marvel film Wakanda for, Forever. Box office, ha box office has not panned out as I thought it might with the news uh, that Henry Cavill is coming back. Right now it's kind of un underperforming domestically and there's no China release set that I know of which is where Dwayne Johnson movies really do well in. So, right now, it's got, it's got an uphill struggle to reach that break-even point. It's got to make about $700 million. Uh, one thing it has going forward to it is it's going to, it's going to most likely get a true theatrical, true theatrical run, uh, whereas the Marvel films get about a 50-day run, which hurts, them at, which hurts them financially. So, we'll see going for, forward. And my final thoughts on this. Um, on a scale of five stars, it's a solid three. I recommend it. It's, it's a good popcorn flick. Um, I feel it's clearly a better film than anything we've gotten from Marvel in the last two years in Phase Boar. And with some, re with some news that's been going on with DC... There could be some good things coming, but that's another video for another time. And as always, folks, these are just my thoughts, but I'm going to turn it back over to you now. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you liked the film, if you didn't li like the film, if you think the choices were great, if they weren't, and what do you think this says for the DC Universe going forward? But again, guys, thanks for stopping by. Again, Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, smash the like, like button if, if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, hey, you hung around the, this long. And share the video out on all the socials. And I will see you definitely Friday, Friday night's Royal Rumble. We're going to be talk, talking about the weekend pop culture. And I'll probably give you something Friday, most likely, or Saturday, so about some interesting Hollywood shakeups. And if there's anything you guys would like me to review, since all the big shows have kind of gone, gone their way, let me know down below in the comments as well. I will take some suggestions under advisement. But until then, guys, have a great rest of your week. Always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles!